Hi guys, how are you? In this video, I am going to show you the main interface of the Lunacy software, which is basically and specifically um, made to design the mobile applications. Uh, let's come to the tools. In this video, we will discuss the tools used in Lunacy software. You can see these are much similar to the Adobe Illustrator tools. First of all, is the selection tool, which is very easy to understand. You can select anything inside or outside the artboard and uh, replace it or move it from one place to another the second one is the artboard tool which is uh, i can say that an important one uh, you can see on the right side of the window um, i got many options like desktop tv mobile phone tablets and each one of them contain a couple of um, other options like the sizes you can select any size you want according to your requirement and design an application or website. The next one is the image tool. Clicking on this tool, uh, um, a window open and you can select any image you want to use in your design. The next one is the text tool. I have the text tool which is easy, easy to understand. Now here is the dummy text which is by default and you can see on the right side there are many font type mm, font styles and uh, you can change the size and its appearance and its color and you can add many other effects to these options so it's simple and easy those uh, who have used the adobe illustrator it is not much difficult for them to understand the next one is the pen tool and uh, you may be familiar with it pen tool you can create many irregular and regular shapes and fill them with colors and um, you can um, the main thing is you can design anything you want to the pen tool and uh, here is the pencil tool it's like the brush tool which we use in the Adobe Illustrator you can create different lines irregular and straight lines and get any illustration you want okay the next one you have the line tool the line tool you can create straight lines and lines uh, aligned on the specific angles you can also change the settings from this the right window and um, add many effects and colors to it and uh, one thing more here is about the alignment you can align the lines and objects the options here on the top right corner of the window here is the left alignment the center alignment and the right alignment and uh, here is the alignment to the top and middle and you can align it to the bottom of the hardboard okay here is another tool uh, when you hold on the line tool here the option came out and you can see the arrow tool you can select the arrow tool and you can get a shape, arrow like shape, like this. You can also rotate it and increase its size and point it out towards any direction you want. And it's similar to the line tool, you can, and similar to the line tool, you can add the effects to it. Okay, next one is the square tool or rectangle tool. By holding shift, you can. Uh, draw a square and uh, releasing the shift you can mm, draw a triangle of any type and uh, here the you can change the fill colors and it's um, you can say effects like you and my fan screen normal um, you can change the borders and um, you can add many effects you want similarly we have the rectangle tool with the round corners you can create a uh, square with the round corners by holding shift and dragging the mouse and create a rectangle with the round corners by just dragging the mouse in direction you want the rectangle and the right side options are same for both of these you can change its effects and styles and add colors to it the next one is the circle tool or ellipse tool you can create any ellipse and circle by holding shift and dragging the mouse just similar to the illustrator next one is the triangle tool it's obvious from its name 
you can draw a triangle and by holding the triangle button you can have many more options like polygon tool the star tool and here are the options on the right side as I discussed earlier in this video related to the colors and styles now the new thing in the Lunacy software is these four options the icon tool, avatar tool, button tool and symbol tool mm, I'm going to use the icon tool so you can see on the left side I got many icons like the settings button and the search the twitter icon and many more you can also search and mm, use the icons you want mm, let me give you an example I am for example I am designing a mm, mobile application and uh, I am going to add a home button to the top of it so I have selected it from the icons bar and placed it here on the artboard so it's simple and easy to use and now we have the avatar tool which is also an easy one to understand I'm going to place here an avatar like this and you can change its size and change the image from these options here on the right side you can add your own image also and also you can remove it from the circle the next one is the button tool in button tool we add different buttons like the checkbox the uncheck box which we usually mm, see on different blogs and websites and, and during the form filling so it's similar to the, um, that thing and we have the toggle button which you can mostly see in the settings on of the phone and here is the default button or the text input button and many other options you can explore it and use it in your design now we have the symbol button which is similar to the icons tool um, clicking on this tool we got a free options like apple ios mac you can see on the screen and uh, it contains different type of icons um, which, has, which are categorized according to their type like the in button option we have just this button and similarly in if we go to the android and select this so we have this default button you can also search here whatever you want the button styles and uh, types so you can add to your design so these are some of the tools of the Lunacy software which you can use and create an interesting mobile application design